So today, uh, topic of discussion is importance of quality control in feed industry, as well as importance of research in feed industry. So, what is the significance of quality control, and how it affect the industry in bad or good manner? So first of all, uh, before uh, think the quality, what is the nutritional quality of feed ingredients? That means what nutrients should be available, and what nutrients should be present in the feed ingredients. The quality should be inspected time to time. So the nutritional quality of feed ingredient, which is called as its ability to supply the specific nutrient, whatever required to the target animal. The animal requires different kind of nutrient for their sustainability and for their life. So target animal, what kind of the nutrient should we supply? and it should be free from physical and chemical contaminants. So this is about the nutritional quality. There are different parameters to measure the nutritional quality of the feed ingredients. So one by one, we, uh, I will discuss about that, how we can check the quality of the feed ingredients and what parameters that should be checked during the examination of the feed to judge the quality of the ingredients. So nutrient content is one of the most important parameters, what kind of a nutrient is available in the ingredients, what kind of the nutrients which is available, so availability of the nutrients, different batches, that is uh, when uh, start production of the feed, then different uh, batch variation. So batch variation is uh, also important. Different ingredient also vary in the same kind of the ingredient. So uh, different uh, in the same kind of the feed, man, uh, whatever the manufacturing in the uh, feed plant. So ingredient variation is also affect the nutritional quality, genetics, of the plant and source of the ingredient. So what kind of the feed and what genetics, which also affect the nutritional quality, harvesting methods, processing methods, where uh, after harvesting, where to store it. So storage also affect transportation system and adulteration. So these are different factors which affect the nutrient quality of the feed ingredients. So how, why we should judge the quality of the ingredients? So the major objective is to ensure the manufacturing, which is functioning properly or not. So ensure the manufacturing and to ensure the manufactured product, what is the finished product. So ensure the quality of the manufactured product. And uh, there are some specification what uh, the feed industry manufacture the product. So as per the specification, that product is available or not. So to ensure the manufactured product according to the specification of the nutrients and to ensure the customer satisfaction. With, uh, this is a very important objective. Once customer will satisfy from this particular product, then only we can market efficiently of that desired product. 
and to ensure the feed this is either palatable or not so palatability is also very much important and uh, also ensure the uh, additives and uh, any premix added in the particular product and feed and that should be free from the any type of the contamination so these are the four basic objective to study the quality control of the feed so what are the benefits of quality control first benefit is to enhance the profit and to ensure the quality of that particular product and if we ensure the quality then definitely we can get more profit and improve the market share and by that way we can improve the market share of that particular product and minimize the production cost also saving in customer services less number of uh, marketing personnel should be required when the product is of optimum range and optimum quality so ensure uh, and uh, as well as less complaint will come from the market if product is better quality reduce compensation payment once the quality is deteriorated so industry should pay compensation to the farmers or to the buyers so if quality is good then compensation payment is also less we have the customer satisfaction it is also very important if quality is better then customer will satisfy and improve the product quality image image is very much important once the wire get good image of that particular product then they definitely purchase and they improve the market share of that particular product better discipline management as well as good industry moral so moral will be high if the product will be good so there is no doubt of the marketing there is no any problem occurs due to marketing of the that product so these are the benefits of measuring the quality control in food industry so next to that that feed ingredients and bear analysis how we can judge the quality of different ingredients like maize if you can see this table first is maize so you judge the quality of maize by protein and moisture as well as after toxin so three parameters by doing these three parameters we can judge the quality of the maize and the frequency of judging this quality is you we can judge the maize quality in weekly basis other serial killer ingredients also protein and moisture so that should be judge every load when loading and unloading of the at the point of the wheat industry and wheat manufacturing unit so while unloading the material we should go for the protein and moisture content examination to judge the primary quality of that particular ingredients like soybean so we can judge the soybean by protein moisture fiber percentage and urea activity at every load so this is why this following this table we can keep in mind how we can judge the feed ingredients and their analysis what we do and what to do while loading and unloading the materials and ingredients and what is the frequency of judging the feed quality ingredients so there are different attributes in management of the quality assurance such as quality policy 
different uh, policies are present. So we should follow these quality policies, a specification systems, some a standard is set and set by uh, regulations of different quality. So these are the different attributes accepted or rejected decision, how we can accept and what, on what basis we can reject the ingredients and the product and uh, how we can improve the system for better judgment and for, for better analysis. How we can improve and uh, some motivation and administration is also one of the attributes to manage the quality assurance at industry level. So policy, uh, uh, quality policy, specification, setting a standard, accepted or rejected decision, system improvement and administration. So these uh, six parameters we should keep in mind for management of the quality assurance at farm level. Assessment of feed quality. How we can assess the feed quality and what are the variations while assessing the feed quality takes place. So first is the incoming feed ingredient. First variation is incoming feed ingredient. Next to that is feed mixing efficiency. What are there is a different kind of the mixture which is available in the industry. So what is the efficiency of mixing that particular feed and particular finished product? Uh, before preparing the finished product, mixing that ingredient and they are totally depend on the type of the mixture. Efficiency is depend on the type of the mixture and time of the mixing. So efficiency of delivery of mixed feed is also one of the variation that uh, may affect the feed quality and mixing point and kind of the animals where to offer this kind of the feed. This is also variables of the feed quality while assessing the quality and what kind of the analytical procedure we should follow. So these are the variations of assessment of the feed quality. And uh, there are some uh, other processing and production quality, how we can assess the processing and production quality of the ingredients. So size of the grain is one of the most important while uh, parameters while uh, processing and production. Size and color of the pilot feed. When we manufacture the pilot feed, the size and color is also important. A smell of the feed, which is very much important whether feed is palatable or not. So animals they smell the feed and once the smell is good, then the palatability of that feed is, particular feed is more. So a smell is also important. Mixing of ingredients for it should be homogeneous, homogeneously mixed and by gauging, branding, tagging, a stitching, proper stitching of the bag, Bang of that particular bag and uh, proper specification should be given on that particular bags. So we can uh, also use different cards and uh, like uh, printed bags we can use uh, proper specification and instructions should be given how we can feed and how much we can feed on that particular product. So this kind of, uh, this is also very much important and uh, that uh, the process product should be free from the insect devils, any type of the contamination. So these are the assessment parameter of processing and production quality of the particular feed. So we should keep remember these points. Next to that, the um, assessment of the feed stuff's quality. 
how we can assess uh, easily that physical quality, sanitary quality, intrinsic quality. So these are the three qualities. And physical quality, in physical quality, size, shape, damage, density, moisture, etc. By that way, we can assess the physical quality. Sanitary quality, that foreign material, any kind of the foreign material, any dust, dirt, insects, rodents, excreta, especially rodent excreta, fungal infestation. So by that way, we can judge the sanitary quality of that particular feed and stuffs. Intrinsic quality, it includes the non-visual attributes like protein, Y, as fiber, and different uh, approximate principles. We can kept in the intrinsic quality, so we should judge uh, the feedstuffs quality. And by that, performing that attributes, uh, we can assess the quality of the feedstuffs. So uh, now coming to the quality control of the raw material. So by external examination of any raw material, we can say what is the quality of the particular ingredients. By looking the science of wetness, that means moisture percentage, whether feed is uh, moldy, insect infested, infection, infestation, a smell, we can smell the feed quality externally, and color and texture. So color is also very much important. So by moisture content, moldy, insect infestation, smells, and color, we can judge the raw material quality. After that, sampling for microscopical examination and any adulteration, by performing microscopical examination, adulteration should be judged. Checking of uh, that uh, brood protein, uh, that intrinsic factors like uh, brood protein, fat, as toxin, etc. And after that, we can reject or accept that particular feed material on external examination basis. Next to raw material, that the second one is the finished feed. How we can judge the finished feed? Sampling every batch of the production. This is very much important. So each batch, there are some minimum variation in the quality. So we should examine each batch sample and we should collect each batch sample for laboratory examination. Check the granulation mixing properties, pallet size, color, smell, etc. So by doing that, we can judge the quality of the in his feed, we can perform the approximate analysis of the sample, whatever we collected during the batching. So go for the approximate analysis. Other than approximate analysis, we can go for the calcium, phosphorus, salt, and toxin analysis as well. So whether uh, what is the percentage of the calcium, phosphorus, and salt, as well as the, any kind of the toxin which is present or not. So we can go for the analysis of that particular attributes. And analysis for amino acid, vitamins, any kind of the drug. And also check the standard, what are, what are the standards for these different parameters. So we should match this standard with the results. So by that way, we can judge the finished product quality in feed industry. So what is the current good man management practices? That is CGMP. And why we can do that? So there are different reasons like adhere to the current general standard of manufacturing. So we should adhere to whatever the standard which is fixed by the government system. So we should follow these standards and we should adhere to them. And uh, to ensure the product quality to meet the specification, whatever required for particular product. So we should ensure 
that and maintain the integrity of that product as per well specification which is manufactured so integrity maintaining the integrity of the product maintaining the integrity of the field manufacturer which is very much important and to prevent the non permissible residual level any kind of a toxin or any kind of drugs or antibiotics so we should follow this current food management practices to ensure the better quality and to ensure the quality as required for particular product by the industry people what is the storage of the feed stuffs and uh, what is the importance of a storage of feed ingredients to control the condition of the uh, uh, this is very much important to control the condition of the storage to maintain the original quality of the product so to maintain the original quality we should store properly otherwise we can't maintain the original quality of the product so a storage facility should be better and should be maintained and well managed while keeping the product or finished product minimize the deteriorative changes if any occurs so proper ventilation should also be there to minimize rodent prey or bear hoss and like that so by this way we can minimize the deteriorative changes of that finished product so a storage is also very much important where we store the finished product and there are different factors which affect the storage of the feed stuffs so keep remember that what are those factors moisture is very imp much important moisture then temperature should be maintained oxygen supply we should uh, maintain the oxygen supply in warehouse and uh, any if any engineering aspects is there so we should look up, look over the uh, look after the these aspects also while storing the feed product and ingredients bulk storage physical barrier if any rodent feed a store house should be there this is also very much important factor factors which affect the storage quality and uh, microorganism if any kind of the microorganism grow and uh, bird uh, any kind of the bird is also coming in the warehouse so it should be free from the bird rodent microorganism so dampness should not be there in the warehouse where we store the feed stuff so these factors uh, which affect the storage quality of the feed stuffs how we can control the waste in the warehouse and where storing storing takes place in the industry storage house so maintain the store a storage house keep the storage house always clean and maintain it when storing the feed stuffs remove and destroy all the uh, spillage and uh, that uh, damage uh, parts and examine for excessive moisture content if any the excess moisture content uh, we continuous examine the moisture content of the there are also and insect infestation is there or not so it should be free from the insect infestation and any form of the infestation uh, that uh, we should uh, remove that part and uh, fumigate the houses by that way we can control the pest uh, uh, pest do not store infested uh, uh, materials in the warehouse along with non infested commodities so we should keep separately and uh, demarcate it properly in the warehouse and avoid long term storage so long term storage always we prefer short term storage only we should avoid the long term storage otherwise we can't control the waste in the warehouse and in the store go down and we should train the warehouse staff to maintain the hygiene in the 
a store house, a store room. So proper management of the hygiene for that we should train the staff of the parents. How we can control the rodents in the bear house and the store house, store go down. So right proofing should be there is provision of right proofing in the premises of the bear house. Trapping should be trapping system for right should be there. We can use some uh, poisoning material or anticoagulant for the treatment of the rodents. And we should uh, we can use rodenticides in the warehouse and rodent uh, tracking uh, dust uh, should be there. It should be the provision of rodent tracking dust. Repellent we can use time to time and time to time we can fumigate the warehouse as well and record keeping should be there. So by that way we can control the rodent. A stocking management uh, uh, we can uh, how we can manage the uh, stocks so it should be well prepared and um, uh, before managing uh, well uh, the preparedness is very much important so we should well prepare while managing the stock first in first off that is very much important first in and first off system should be followed in the warehouse Routine maintenance of the silos and codon. Uh, we can manage, uh, maintain the in well manner of the silos where we store the finished product on in all ingredients. Dry before a storage, dry it properly and clean it properly before a storage. Vigilance of any hot spots formation in the finished product and the proper ventilation of that go down and a storehouse and silo should be there should be the provision of proper ventilation. So lastly, we can conclude conclude our uh, that uh, today presentation class that uh, there should be the adequate drying before a storage. So it should be free from the moisture. So, or free from to make uh, the free moisture free storage. So, we should try it in adequately. Suitable storage facility should be there. Uh, that the storage house should be manufactured and uh, built as per the specification. And the proper management of the warehouse, trained staff should be there for proper management of the warehouse. Regular inspection of any kind of the infestation like insects and uh, any mycotoxin and any rodents, any birds. So regular inspection should be there. And record keeping is uh, also very much important when inspected. The warehouse, application of the residual insecticide, application of commodity protectant we can use. And uh, time to time, Fumigation of warehouse and the storehouse go down should be done on regular interval. So by that way we can uh, keep the warehouse and keep the product like ingredient as well as the finished product, and we can manage for long time and we can manage it smoothly, and that should be free from the any kind of the infestation and maintain the quality up to the mark and we can get more profit and we can uh, control the overall quality of that particular ingredient and product in feed industry. So by that way we can control the quality of feed finished product as well as ingredient in feed industry.